Right, then there we go. The final whistle goes at Anfield. Mo Salah. 85th minute goal, poking home at the uh, saved header from Virgil van Dijk from close range. And then in the 98th minute, Darwin Nunes does the exact same. It was probably going in anyway off Van Dijk's saved header. It was trickling in, but Darwin Nunes initially flagged offside, but he gives the goal. He was onside after the, the VAR check. And yes, Liverpool ends their Champions League group stage with yet another win. Of course, the 2-0 win wasn't enough to take them to the top of the group. They will finish in second place, but they get a very, very much needed win, Edel, and a very much needed clean sheet. And what I would say is that Two excellent sides. I thought Napoli were brilliant there for the most part. They're a very good team. Liverpool matched them and get the job done. And like I say, confidence-wise, great. Salah will be made up for his goal. Nunes will be made up for his goal. And you can walk into Tottenham with a little bit more confidence, I suppose, because Liverpool have shown there. And this, again, this is the inconsistency of the Reds so far. They've just played very, very well against a very, very good team there. Well, yeah, and you'll take massive confidence. The formation seems to work a lot more in our yes, favour today. Did, yeah. I think that's one w w noteworthy in that respect. I also think the clean sheet, as you mentioned, is, is a massive boost for the, the lads' confidence. Another fine example of set pieces, I think, all season for us, really. One of the things that I've <coughs> I've noticed is set pieces, we've been become really effective at them. Yes. Um, and, and we've managed to find different scorers at different times to be able to go on and score. Nunes almost comes up with an assist for the set piece, you know, getting on the end of a, a cross from Costas. We already know Costas' ability from, you know, from a dead ball situation. Ultimately, this is probably, in terms of the performance, not necessarily just the result, because again, they, it didn't seem like it was high stakes, but in terms of knowing that you're going to be up against a really good team that are going to be up for it, I genuinely feel as though this was... Um, one of our better performances for us this season. Yep. It's been hard to really judge us against the likes of Bournemouth. It was hard to judge us against the Rangers. You know, City seemed like a bit of an anomaly for, you know, the, the, how well we, we performed and was able to, to keep them out. But I think in terms of knowing this Napoli side, knowing that they haven't been beaten all season across all competitions, knowing that they're flying high in the, in the Serie A, it was a really, really important win for us today. And I think we should take a lot of confidence from that. But like anything with Liverpool at the moment, the only certainty is that we've been inconsistent. You know, you, we can go on and freaking win today, but we might drop a stinker against Tottenham on the weekend. Just That's just how we've we've yep. been and we found ourselves. So, you know, in isolation, I've enjoyed the Champions League because we can, we can have it as a welcome distraction. But... The reality is the hard work's going to have to start again for these lads tomorrow and they're going to have to kind of reprogram themselves to focus on the weekend's task ahead. Absolutely. But what, like I say, with Liverpool, the aim is to get out of the Champions League. Liverpool did that. They actually lost one game. You know, it just it's, it's just so happens that Napoli did the same. Yeah. And they it was because they whacked us in that very first game of the, of the tournament. Liverpool got the job done. Yeah, in terms of like other results around the league, of course, we know Tottenham got a very, very late win at the top there. So, yeah, coming second place could be an issue. I mean, FC Porto were there for us and if... If things go as, you, Bruce, as they usually Bruce go, are in there as well, aren't they? They no, no, they come second. They so come yeah, second yeah. So it's okay. it's as it stands. I'll go through the table right now, very, very quickly. Obviously, Porto won their group, so they're an option. Bayern are an option. We can't draw Tottenham, of course. We're, we're, Chelsea, Milan. We'll we'll cross that bridge later, but it looks like it's going to be Chelsea. Tottenham, so we can't draw them. Obviously, Real Madrid. We can't get Man City. PSG. So basically, you're looking at one of PSG. Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, or Porto. Okay. So we're yeah, up we, against it. You know, it's, well, it's not easy. It's, yeah, that's what that's where that's the difference between coming top and second. Yes, again, things could change tomorrow, and other results can happen. But as it stands, that looks like the most likely one of those four. But again, things change because other teams can't draw other teams. It all it'll all work itself out. But Liverpool job done. But it looks like Errol. It's going to be a difficult last sixteen game. Whoever it is, really, everyone, everyone will be desperate for it. But it's going to be, the, the, you know, it is the, what it is. The, well, yeah, for me, it is what it is. But on, on top of that, I expect it to be a completely different Liverpool side mentally, personnel potentially, and form wise. <laughs> I feel as though it will be a completely different Liverpool side by the time we come back to the, the Champions League. The games are so League. far away, aren't they? Yeah, do you know what I mean? It, it can, it, again, it almost feels like, I'm correct me if I'm wrong in the chat or maybe yourself, but that difference in time feels like the Liverpool side that was chasing a quad to this point in time has been a team that could pretty much brush aside anyone 
and all of a sudden we struggle for form four or five months later well you're going to go all of november now this is the first day of november so we've practically all of november all of december all of january and then the middle of february so that's the better part of three and a half nearly four months before you're going to come up against your opposition that's almost the same space of time that our form has flipped on its head yeah, the so, first game it could be as late by the way we are, it depends on the games but like the round of 16 games because they split the round of 16 up the yeah. fi- it's either the 14th or the 15th or the 25th it could be the end near the end of Feb yeah, yeah, yeah. it could be like the middle of March before you play the second leg of that yeah, there's yeah. a long, anyway. yeah, long, long time, time. So it, it, our form it, completely should there's, be there's a transfer window for, for us and the whole of Europe so it's a long long way off so who knows by now we'll figure it all out later down the line but yeah it's a well going back to this game uh, we'll talk more about it later by the way we've got the fan reaction so if you head over to the socials uh, Errol will have you covered there uh, get your get your thoughts and comments in now, and I'll read the best of those out later on. I'll be at the board for the play ratings, and then later on, on again, Redmen Plus, we have the full instant match reaction, and tomorrow morning, the final word. There's also coverage from the ground that right now, where Paul and Chloe and the guys are down there, so yeah, tons to get you covered, and we'll go into in depth in loads of things later on. But I just want to talk about this formation change very, very quickly. Mm-hmm. Is it a one-off just because he wants to give, give certain players a rest? No. He, or do you think he's going back to four-three-three? I, I think he'll, from what he's seen today, I think four-three-three. Again, now we've got the option of Canate back there defensively as well, kind of being able to come in. We looked a lot more we solid. Looked a lot didn't more we? solid. You'll be able to yeah. kind of rely on the high line again, or, or look to try and rest on the high line, I should say. And then on top of that, I think you've also got the likes of, as you mentioned before, the additions in midfield now that you can kind of call to to keep that level there to keep the engine to keep the energy within midfield. <coughs> I think there are options. I think Harvey Elliott. I gave him. Um, you know, I was a little bit hard on him the other day because I didn't think he had the, his, his best game. But yeah. I think he came on in, in replacing Milner pretty much from the start of the second half. Yeah. I think he did really well. I think he was um, worked really hard and managed to do well on that right hand side. I think as the longer the game went on, I think the better we looked. We looked in more control of the game as well. The one thing that you could probably notice is there wasn't a whole host of chances created from open play. But I'll take that right now if we go... We are very... We, we've always been dangerous of set pieces. The issue we've had I mean, for a while has been we've leaked so many goals. Yeah. The Keelian sheet was mad. I'm, I'm with you, by the way, when you said he boosts back. He, he was... I don't mean... I like Joe Gomez, but he's been, he hasn't had a great couple of couple of weeks. He's been, he's been he's up, up and down. down yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, and Canate was just way much, much better. We saw it with Matip. I thought Matip look, has looked head and shoulders about him as well. So I'm with you. I, I, we did look more solid. And again, it's hard to say, is it because the formation change? Is it because Ibu's in? It's probably a combination both. of both. Yeah, a little Got a super chat here from Ahmed who says, brilliant, that was a fight out there. Thiago's world class and Fab, I think, did well today. Still looks a little bit of a yard up, but I'm proud of the boys. Yeah, and... I'm with you, Fabinho did look, but that, that's his formation. Mm-hmm. He either plays in that three, the base of a three, or as one as of a two. I don't think he can play that. At the moment, the diamond, Liverpool did look more solid down the middle. Any chances, Napoli got really. Right it side. was all down yeah. their left yeah. or right. And even then... He didn't create loads. It wasn't, no, Alisson did, 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 did not have to make it what you'd say. It was a hard save. So I, I'm with you. It has been very, 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 very good night for Liverpool, albeit a very extended one, because of amazing VAR checks. And like I say, we did win 2-0 it could have been if not for the guy's shoulder being offside off a set piece it could have been a different story but mm. he was the offside's offside Liverpool's the, f- the defensive line did its job there nice that Salah on that you know, on this hunt for the Champions League golden booty he'll be made up Darwin gets yet another goal albeit one I could have scored what the difference is you know, when you're looking at your judging players, it's, it's another one for the stats. He's always involved in stuff. It's so just, it's just again, it's just a nice feel good factor. Liverpool didn't win the game four 0 Didn't top three. I understand that they're probably going to get a difficult game, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But I suppose, like I say, for those two in particular, a nice little confidence boost. Yeah, and it's one less thing that Klopp has to worry about now. You don't have to worry about the pressure of the Champions League. And again, like if I'm sitting here trying to dissect Liverpool season so far, there are so many things you can kind of pull apart and there, there'll be a lot of people that will say you know we've, it's been hard lines you've been a little bit unlucky you know players have been injured and there are, there are extenuating circumstances which makes you think do you know what you don't want to be overly critical and the last person that wants to be overly critical in any situation is probably Jürgen Klopp he's probably a big believer he, he's going to be a big believer and back his team and his players so what is more or what's the most you know useful thing for him to kind of keep season's hopes alive is we our season at worst, can now only be over in March. 
we've almost guaranteed ourselves that yep. we will be fighting for something for something come March. Yes. So yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, in yeah, terms yeah, yeah, yeah. of being able to keep people mentally at the level and keep people yep. engaged and give people a reason to dig deep. We've got that now, so it's one less worry that he has to, you know, he's not having to worry about the added pressure of, oh, Liverpool have crashed out of the Champions League and all of the the extra kind of scrutiny that comes with not qualifying. And, and also, all is if they got beat tonight, because Napoli are a good team, they could have beat Liverpool at some point, like I say. It's just another one where, oh, Liverpool have lost again, but they haven't even won. You know what I mean? Yeah. It just, it, there's no losing streaking out. They've just lost one game and now they've won another one again. You know what I mean? Like, that's where we get from this, but yeah. Um, and look at what it means to them, you know, they, they look like the. Um, they wanted to prove, do you know what I mean? Well, like, shit, shit. Yeah. Like, you, 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 you embar- they embarrassed us in that first game. Me and Chris sat here. And it was embarrassing. The goals they scored... Were too easy. Oh, too mate, it was, it was, easy, it was mate. awful. Was so, Liverpool got ready. What Liverpool need to figure out now, mate, is it's that consistent level. Because City, up here, down here for, for Forrest. Then you have up here for... Well, relatively up there for Ajax. Down there for Leeds. Up here for Napoli. You've got to learn to stay up there because Tottenham away is not going to be an easy game. They're going to be buzzing because they've just, with the last minute win, they're away from home. They're going to be buzzing as well. Liverpool needs to figure out a way to take this form into the next couple of games because there's going to be different, it'll be, there'll be changes. I would be shocked if Curtis Jones plays left wing against Tottenham, for example. So Liverpool just needs to figure out now how, how they can get on a bit of a roll. They haven't got long left. Like I said, they play Tottenham. Then they play Derby. Is that right? And yeah. then Southampton? Yeah. Three games left, and then, and then they're off for, for, for a long old while. So you, when you say you need to search for consistency, you're looking really at, what, two games? Because the League Cup's going to be a massively changed side. You've got, you've, got to find, you've got to find consistency in the Tottenham and Southampton game. Again, I can't sit here and say I am confident they're going to do that because we've crossed this bridge before. But if they play like they've just played there, they'll beat. They'll, it's hard they'll, to, to they'll, they'll bet get points. Them. And they'll win six points, I think, if they play like they've just played there. It's hard to bet against them if they go on and um, if they if they play like that. But yeah. then the other thing is, as you mentioned, it's hit and miss. You you can't call it. It's Jekyll and Hyde right now. It's a flip of a coin. Which Liverpool side's ultimately going to turn up? And as much as I'd love to just blindly back them. I can't right now have that level of faith to say, yeah, they're going to go out next game and do the business. I think one thing for sure is that formation helps give them the foundation to do the business. Yeah, super because they're all used just to it. Because there, because Scott Hawks, as you said, that was a super chat. Thanks very much, Scott. $25, you're a legend. Better formation of Fab. Looked like Fab. Both working because of the other. Come on, you Reds. And yeah, you're right. That you're, you, you and Scott are agreeing there. That, I, I wonder if he sticks to that now because I think you're right. It looked a lot better there. Didn't it? To, to round it up, what are you, just a, your last couple of thoughts on that one. As a happy, I'll, I'll, I'll have, I say I've, I, I was looking forward to tonight's game just because of the distraction. I love watching us play, but it's just it's been it's when there's been pressure. When there's, there's not even that, I, I love watching us play when there is the pressure, mate. But we've got to be good enough to otherwise you just you'd embarrass yourselves. And there's been a few games where we've embarrassed ourselves and we've played underneath the level. And I don't think. We've deserved to be able to sit in and enjoy it, but it happens. That's football. You've got to play yourself through bad patches of form. And I think the Champions League has been that distraction for us this season where the lads have just went, you know what? Shackles are off. Let's just get out there and play our game. Yeah, we had a bit of a wobble in the first game, but every other game we've been able to do enough to get us over the line. And I think that is because teams naturally play into wanting to play us anyway. So it suits us. I think teams that want to play us, we always find a way to best because... We are a better all-round outfit than a lot of teams across Europe. I think it's when, as we've said in the in the past, teams in the Premier League that want to stick to what they do really well to try and maximise their opportunity of taking away points have punished us. And we've been on the receiving end of punishments rather than being the ones that have dished them out. But in terms of this game, mate, I've, I enjoyed it. I felt like it was a lot more of a composed performance from us. We then I was never sat here feeling nervous. And maybe the nerves aren't there because there's not, there's not the stakes there. But at the same time, none of Napoli's play had me thinking, fucking hell, they've had us under the cosh for fucking 20 minutes. We need to breathe it and we need to just get the ball up the up the field and, like, you know, get the ball in there off or anything like that. I just felt like, yeah, we felt we've played a lot better. And if I'm being honest, I think, I expect that we probably go on to score at least one goal. And it came a little bit late, but we still got there in the end through a set piece. Absolutely. Okay, Liverpool then round off their Champions League group stage with a 2-0 win 
over Napoli. Keep an eye out on the channel later on. Errol will be back very, very shortly with the fan reaction shows. I'll be over the ball for the player ratings. I see there's content coming from the ground as well with Paul's reaction. Chloe's down there with the guys outside well, so she has find out who she can chat to. And like I say, later on, instant match reaction over on redmenplus.com. Come and join us if you haven't already. I know there's not many games left before the World Cup, but honestly, the content we've got planned for the World Cup break will have you entertained. My Liverpool debut will be out very, very shortly. The teasers and trailers have been seeping out ever so slightly. Dan's doing a good job with those. We have some amazing content. And like I say, get in the Discord chat. Come and get involved. Like I say, stick together. Nice big virtual hug. We'll get through this winter of World Cup and no Reds together. Fingers crossed we're going there with another three wins because, yeah, hopefully Liverpool can build on this one. What was a very, very good performance against Napoli. I think just about deserved to win on the balance of play. Maybe it was tight, but just about edged it, did the Reds. Yeah, a couple of VAR checks went in their favour, all that kind of stuff. But in the end, the Reds win, and that's always a bonus. Thanks to Errol, thanks to you guys for watching and listening and joining us today for the Watch Along. We'll catch you next time. See you all soon. Take care. Get closer to Liverpool Football Club and the amazing city of Liverpool with Red Men Plus. More content for your eyes and ears, documentaries, extra bonus Red Men shows, podcast features, interviews. Get close to the culture of Liverpool Football Club on Red Men Plus.